let's go ahead and get into our full rumor and news roundup. And starting off, Drevno, OC in 2018, yay or nay? Uh, I don't think it's going to – I do not think it's going down that way, Lane. Mm -hmm. I think D Tim Drevno, I'm giving it 75% likelihood, three Harbaugh heads, that he is not going to be the offensive coordinator in 2018. Why? Michigan's – uh, you know, interviewing quite a few guys, yep. Cam Cameron, uh, and Jim McElwain, and some others. We've even mentioned a former uh, former uh, Terry Rubisky offensive coordinator in the NFL. So I think he's going to go to an associate head coaching role, help Jim Harbaugh oversee all aspects of the program, and go from there. So with that being said, Tim Drevno, I think 75% likely will not be on Michigan's staff as the offensive coordinator next year, but still will be with the school in one of those 10 positions. All right, up next, this is a, a shade decision in 24 hours. We broke this down in our rapid rumors. Um, in our full rumor segment, we're also going to be talking about um, Tim. Um, <laughs> so, so <laughs> Tim Shane, Rubinsky, right? Yeah, Terry Rubinsky, but Shea Patterson yeah. decision in 24 hours. So let's think about what the Shea decision in 24 hours means, right? right. So it means, Lena, that Michigan is, is very confident at this point from what they've talked to, from who they've talked to, that once they appeal Shea Patterson's and Michigan's going to do mm -hmm. it themselves, Shea Patterson and his attorney are getting all the, the information riled up. Once they submit, they think that it's such a slam dunk that they're going to get the decision back in 24 hours. It's going right. to be like, boom, boom, done, That's he's eligible. That's what we all want. I have heard just in the last 24 hours, we might hear in the next two weeks. We might hear in the next two weeks. All right. As I mentioned earlier, Terry Rubisky, now is he getting interviewed for the offensive coordinator position, James? Uh, well, Terry Rubisky was in Ann Arbor, did get the opportunity to interview for the offensive coordinator job. If he's the offensive coordinator in Michigan, I'm done. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not even – doing this show anymore. That's all I'm saying with it. So he is, people are talking to Harbaugh heads, Lena, because she, he was in interviewing for the role, but there's no way he's in this job. I can't imagine. If he came to Michigan, it would have to be in some sort of analyst role, some right. sort of one year between jobs kind of thing, but no way he can be there. He did not do enough as offensive coordinator of the Titans, going back to the Browns several years back, to come anywhere near close to this Michigan program mm -hmm. that's already struggling offensively. All right, rumor number three, Warner. Is he going to remain a quote-unquote analyst for the Wolverines, James? It's so tough to say, Lana, at this point, but I can't see any other way that he won't be an analyst yeah. because Michigan is, you know, has nine coaches on the staff, mm -hmm. interviewing for a 10th. Where does Ed Warner fit in? Now, the only way he would potentially fit in, the, the, why we don't give this four harbor heads, is what if Tim Dev Drevno backed off of the coaching staff, went into a more administrative role with Jim right. Harbaugh, and Warner became the offensive line coach. But as such, right now I'm saying it's 75% percent likely that Ed Warner is going to remain on staff. His son is going to Michigan State, little known fact, in the 2018 recruiting class. So with that, Warner will likely remain as an analyst, won't be part of the coaching staff. $250,000 a year contract, two years he signed that was just released this week. All right, on to the next rumor. Does practice begin for the Wolverines on March 22nd, James? Oh yeah, that's F-A-C-K. Practice is beginning. We're about six weeks away from Michigan spring football practice. We're going to see Shea Patterson in the wing helmet wearing that number two. Brandon Peters competing for the quarterback job and others, but it's going to be a relief of like two months, three months of just people stressing out over Michigan football and the recruiting class. All right, up next, Wolverine in Paris, cue the Kanye song. Is that a thing? Wolverines in Paris, absolutely. <laughs> dun, dun. Yeah, so they're going to Paris. Uh, was something that Jim Harbaugh mentioned last year. No one really wanted to ask, but someone did at his press conference. F-A-C-K, they're going right after the April uh, you know, finals at Michigan. And I think it's going to get a lot of people angry this year. Why are you going to Paris? The same people were saying it's so great for the kids last year, and now we're going to complain because uh, mm -hmm. they should be focusing on football and all this <laughs> stuff. So we'll see what happens there. All right, rumor number six. Normandy for Michigan, James. What are we giving this one? So Michigan is going to go from Paris for two weeks playing for a week, or nine so days actually cool. playing football. Then they're going to go to the beaches of Normandy, the famed battle of World War II, mm -hmm. where the Americans stormed in, took over the Germans, and really kind of won back the war uh, for you history buffs out there who, uh, who know what I'm talking <laughs> about. And so it's just one of those places that you kind of, people said they've been there, they're just like awe-inspired by like all the lives that were lost and the, right. the, you know, the courage and, and all that that went into that. So I Michigan's going to head already. out there. Yeah, so Michigan uh, went to last year Rome, went to the Vatican, met the Pope, gave him some Jordans. This year going to, going to uh, you know, the beaches of Normandy, Normandy, France, where uh, you know thousands of lives were lost yep. in World War II. So that should be a pretty interesting, pretty cool experience for the Michigan football team to go and do. All right, they're heading to Paris. They're heading to Normandy. Are they playing a game in 2018 in Europe, James? Well, not necessarily in 2018, Lana. That's uh, that's kind of not, not really uh, the, the thought this year. But there are people talking. We're giving it a people are talking that this this could happen to Harbaugh heads in the future, right? Okay. I don't have any inside info on this. I don't know if anyone has too much conviction, but Jim Harbaugh is setting it up all these trips to Europe to build a little Michigan fan base in some of these countries. I looked at the, you know, the the down the line 
uh, out of conference schedule, right? I look, I look right. about what they're looking. You know, Notre Dame and mm-hmm. some other schools. Who would make most sense? I thought maybe Army. I like a, you know somewhere oh, where there's an Army cool. base. They're playing Army in a couple of years. Maybe they take that game overseas. But some 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 areas that we've uh, we've looked at that made most likely. So Paris and Rome, obviously mm-hmm. they've they visited there. Maybe Germany because Julius Welshoff. Who knows yeah. where they're gonna end up? But I think this is a pretty interesting one to consider. It's been out there. People have reported. It. We'll look for Michigan to maybe make an announcement they'll play in the future. Army might be a, an interesting one. Although I think some American patriots might say, well, you don't play that game overseas. You play Army in America. We'll see what happens there. Although Notre Dame has done that with uh, with, with the service academies in the past, gone to Dublin and played them. All right, up next, Shea rolling under 24 hours. Now, we already talked about it, but for you Wolverine fans just joining us, James, fill them in. So Michigan, you know, I, I've heard enough people say this, that I'm giving the people are talking. I don't have a great uh, feeling on whether this is uh, actually going to happen or mm-hmm. not, but that – they have had enough conversations with the NCAA, with Thomas Mars, the lawyer, with other schools and other potential transfers from Ole Miss that once Shea Patterson ap- appeals his eligibility in 2018, saying he was misled by Houston, uh, I'm sorry, by by uh, Hugh Freeze and the Ole Miss coaching staff when he was coming in, saying, "Hey." We didn't make any mistakes. We're not going to be uh, under probation. Once that takes place, that it's going to be such a slam dunk mm-hmm. that he'll be he'll appeal on a Thursday, and then the next day he is eligible. So that's the people are talking. It's just something to keep an eye out for. I don't know if there's anyone with too great of a source, but someone's out there putting that uh, that information in some of these reporters, some of these message boards, guys' heads that it's being floated that that could happen. That hey, it's it's such a good thing now that that there's no way it'll take more than a day. It's just it's just you know submitting a document at this point. We'll get an answer. All right, last. Last rumor we have for you, offensive lineman Grant Newsom. Is he ready to play, James? Well, there was an article yesterday from Angelique Shingelis from the Detroit Free Press, and he said, you know, I feel like I'm ready to play now. This is the second article in the last two months by a major Detroit newspaper that got access to Newsom, that saw the workout routine he's going through, that saw kind of where he is at physically, and he said, I'm ready to play. Now, he doesn't necessarily have the uh, the authority to make himself eligible. So with that being said, Lana, I'm not sure what to think about this. So we're saying it's going to be pretty likely. I can't call it F-A-C-K fact at this point because, you know, he's missed the last two seasons altogether, Lana. So with that being said, three Harbaugh heads for Grant Newsom returning in 2018. All right, the Michigan Football Report is presented by Game Time, the number one app on the App Store for all last-minute concert tickets, sporting tickets, you name it. They have it, and they track real-time prices just to get us the best deals. Great, great app to have. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I have it, you have it, and you should download it today at chatsports.com slash tickets. But all right, that does it for the Michigan one Football Report. One quick announcement before we leave, Elena. I am changing my title. No longer am I the Michigan Football Insider. I am the king of all Michigan football media, the king, James Yer- just so we know. I have to some of these other guys' stats about their shows. We're crushing them. They're, this is us crushing Crown them, right? Crown them. The em. king of all Michigan football <laughs> media. Tell your uh, your message boards peeps about that one. All right. Well, follow the king himself at James C. Yoder on Twitter and follow me at Lana Bond Sports. If you missed anything, don't worry. We're going to loop it back. We have a little breakdown of all the 2018 recruits and Michigan football news and rumors. Until next time, go blue.